Hello everyone, and welcome back to the Telos Principle, where we last left off. We were able to get many things done. We were able to complete two of them, not to mention other things. Wow. Of course I have to start my video with a puzzle that I immediately finish. Yeah. I don't feel comfortable hiking. I wanna get the one of those other equipped at least. Well since I completed one and two, I guess it's off the first one. Let's just go ahead and change something. Oh, that's right. Topic, and I think we've been covered it, it extensively. What we barely mentioned, though, is the other side of the coin. I mean, our lives would still be what they were before, AI or no AI. The question I think we should discuss, even if it's all completely hypothetical, is the perspective of the artificial intelligence itself. What would it be like to? What would it be? like to be that creature to suddenly come into being, created by others as an experiment. To have all the information about yourself, to know exactly how you function. What do you think about the world? When you see meaning, beauty, how do you judge humanity? Where would you see yourself fitting into the grand scheme of things? I think we should try to put ourselves in the shoes of such a being. Dear Alexander, Thank you for your feedback, but this is a philosophy course, not science fiction. And that's why I almost gave up on my studies. We're blessed to have so many people contributing to this project, but we've got to make sure everyone's on the same page. Please refer to the following people when W74686726F. So we got Alexandria, Nadia, Rob McLean, Heather Delavon, George Jameson. Uh, let's see here. Uh, any of these I know? not directly part of our project, the archive team is sharing both physical and digital spaces. If there are any technical issues to resolve, please contact their project 
and I'm not gonna pronounce the last name, but Arcady. Don't worry, he's nice. Um, Straiton of Stagiria. Stagiria was a Greek materialist philosopher associated with the Peripatetic school. An admirer of Aristotle, he was a proponent of empiricism, and a fierce critic of philosophy that placed belief before observable truth. Though unpopular with many of his peers for his often acerbic personal manner, his commentaries on Aristotle were considered an important work. Much of his writing was lost in the destruction of the library of Alexander.
Well, that made things easy. Okay, so that was a pretty easy puzzle, not gonna lie. An escalating problem. Oh. Thank you. 
Okay, so I run over here, grab it. Uh, run over here. Gold star. What have I done? Hmm. Should be my final one. I'm from that one. Okay, 
it don't look like I can do anything with this. Are there any VPs? Gold stars? Yeah, whatever. And there was a secret thing to do with uh um that turret in the top left corner. Okay, so much that you may learn in the halls of my temples, for there is much that you do not know. That is why you are a child. But children are made to learn, and in time they come to have dominion over the lands of their home. So it shall be with you and your generations. These worlds, and we within them, are made of words. Hidden words, invisible to you, yet part of all things. We are... a story. Your actions give life to the story, and the story gives meaning to your life. Arcadie's team is already working. We don't need to worry about the teams getting in each other's way. The facility is genuinely humongous. Now let us get the show on the road. Starting of Stagira on beginning fragment. This is the grave error of many philosophers not only to the Athenian schools, but also of many others, that they begin not with the observation of the cosmos as it is what surrounds us, but the conclusion already in mind. And often that conclusion is, that the world was created ideal, and mankind itself is the greatest creation of the gods. Yet neither the world nor the gods owe mankind perfection. It is arrogance itself to presume so, Contrary to all the methods of philosophy, the honest philosopher seeks only the truth, even if it bears no comfort. And he must begin by assuming, as Socrates said, that all he knows is that he knows him. Very true. I'll keep this short. You all know me, so you know that I know what I'm talking about. I realize that you're all working on projects meant to somehow advert to the reason. I believe that the little preserve the non-biological components of the little Immediately you'll find the detail to my proposal in the attachment, but the short version. 
the, the global undertaking. Okay. Okay, I was able to learn some things. Behold, I am Elohim, and I speak unto the darkness. Be gone. Excess data cleared. Three levels per episode, but uh, in the future it's just gonna be like, one episode per level. Mm -hmm. Over here. Uh -huh. See that little twitch. I like it. Branch it out.
Yes, I think I've hit my first hard puzzle. again and again was play every human society in recorded history has games 
We don't just solve problems out of necessity. We do it for fun. Even as adults. Leave a human being alone with a knotted rope and they will unravel it. Leave a human being alone with blocks and they will build something. Games are part of what makes us human. We see the world as a mystery, a puzzle, because we've always been a species of problem solvers. Very true. Star in this. Okay. So, uh, that should be one. Okay. Most likely has something to do with lifting. Or, I mean, not lifting, but. You have proven yourself worthy, child, and this gate shall be forever open to you. Seek now the other worlds I have given you, that you may attain even greater mastery and bring glory to your kind. But remember, you must not ascend the Great Tower, for it shall bring death and the end of your generations. Um, kind of where I want to go, not gonna lie. Computer. Athena 12 and is 1A Rome HTML. Go oh, Athena. Uh, the great bronze bull pulled the carriage forward, mighty bursts of steam issuing from their nostrils. Finally, came to the gates at the top. User said, uh, Here assembled were all the generations of the gods and demigods and souls of mortals. Steel and bronze and iron, the memory the clouds parted far beneath, revealing beautiful plains of Macedon, where great gleaming cities, cities once probably stood. It is a Rome, but interesting as such perspectives of discipline, the ultimate dissolution of the Roman Empire may be. They ultimately put up too much emphasis on individual catastrophic events. The real question that must be asked is why Roman Empire, which has dealt with so many threats and catastrophes over the years, is so incapable of responding to this, these later problems. We must investigate the division of wealth, the structure of government, and the location of power in the Roman society. Had the Republic survived or been restored, would Rome still have fallen? What was the role of death and slavery? For what we call the Dark Ages. Rome, the saying goes, was not built in a day. It didn't fall in a day either. HTML or in Book of Osiris Wiki. The great irony of 
Oxyrhynchus papril is the such of a vital resource of information about the ancient world exists only because of a garbage dump. While the library of Alexandria burned at the hands of fanatics and conquerors, depriving us of unimaginable insights into history, philosophy, and art, papers carelessly thrown away by modern by the citizens of Oxyrhynchus survived to the modern day. And though it's true that a great deal of what we know today is because of conscious efforts of individual and organizations, such as spectacular translation and preser preservation work done during the Islamic Golden Age, so much more is simply the result of coincidence and luck. We have lost texts that ancient is considered to be absolutely essential, while utterly trivial, even plagiarized, work survived unharmed. Uh, even... Oh, wait. Remember more than glittering email vampires and auto-tuned teen top pop stars. We have to invest in the... Sure that... The... Osiris. Book scribe of Osiris, sometimes also referred to the book of the journey to Aru, is the ancient Egyptian text discovered in the excavation of Oxyrin... Has caused a certain degree of controversy among Egyptianologists, as some argue that as a classic funerary text such as the Book of Coming Forth by Day, others believe it is poetic work not intended to be understood literally. The book tells a story of a dying man who asks the scribe about the afterlife. The scribe, a servant of Osiris, describes how the man's ka, life force, will become separated from his ba personality, and how he will have to re reunite the two and become Akha, living intellect, passing a series of trials in the Duat, underworld, in order to reach the paradise of Aru. Unlike similar texts, the book of the scribe in Osiris focuses less on giving advice or book. Recent study, Ranahan Hassan, suggests the text may have been intended as philosophical commentary the world of living through the allegory of Duarte. It remains unclear whether this was the intent or original pre-Alexandrian author, or a result of a later translation into Greek. Earlier the transcript, which is considered to be more authentic, is too fragmentary to provide answers, though perhaps further excavation may do something, probably yield more results. Neat. See. That's an eye. <laughs> heaven and hell. I like heaven. Let's start there. The mind is its own place, and in itself, it can make a heaven of hell. A hell of heaven. What matter where, if I be still the same, and what should I be? All less but whom thunder hath made free. Here at least we shall be free. The mighty hath not built here for his envy. Will not drive us hence. Here we may reign secure, and in my choice to reign its worth and vision. Though in hell, better to reign in hell than to serve in heaven. An ancient tradition that the world will be consumed in fire at the end of 6,000 years is true, as I've heard from hell. When the cherub with his flaming sword is hereby commanded to leave his guard at the tree of life, and when he does, the whole creation will be consumed, and appear indefinite and holy whereas now it appears finite and corrupt. This will come to pass by an improvement of sensual enjoyment. But first, the notion that man has a body distinct from his soul is to be expunged. This sh I shall do by printing in this infernal method by corrosives, which in hell are salutary and medicinal, melting apparent surfaces away and displaying the infinite which was hidden. 
Okay. Interesting. Got one more text. I want to see what the big building is. Keep saying, you dare not climb this. Cannot detect location of primary subject. Query. 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 Oh boy. Things don't look quite clean anymore. Is there anything that we associate more closely with intelligence than curiosity? Every intelligent species on Earth is attracted by the unknown. Our mythologies are full of riddles and mysteries and divine knowledge. Even the word apocalypse... Even the word apocalypse means revelation. It seems like our ancestors always imagined that even at the very end, we would solve one last mystery. Yeah, probably true. I'm not ready to go this, that far yet. When returning to the tower, I feel a great tiredness, an enormous energy, why now, why now no disturbs me, but I hope that by living with this knowledge, I might provide shoulder for you, the giants of tomorrow. The view from the top must be incredible. Where have you been, child? Remember, the great tower is not for you. Do not right. give up the hope of eternal life for the hollow promises of curiosity. You're right. You're right. time for this episode. If you liked the episode, why don't you just, um, you know, like, uh, shake hands with that like button and, uh, I don't know, tickle the subscribe? I don't care what you do. Just subscribe. And if you want to see more content like this, well, I guess I'll just have to see you in my next one. Goodbye.